Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to spot a fake 1979 Opeechee Wayne Gretzky rookie card. Wayne Gretzky is the best hockey player of all time. As soon as he retired, his number was retired by the league itself. And everyone wants a Gretzky card. It doesn't matter if you're a Canadian. It doesn't matter if you only collect hockey. It doesn't matter if you only collect sports cards in general. Gretzky is one of the goats of sports of all time. And everyone wants a card. A 10 just recently sold for over $1 million. So with that being said, there's a ton of fakes on the market. It's slightly under the Michael Jordan as one of the most faked cards out there. Everyone seems to find one in one of their shoe boxes. So, so for this video of spotting fakes, I'm going to show you how to identify the Gretzky fake. Now, this is just one video in my series of spotting fakes. Last week, I did a Michael Jordan rookie card. And the week before that, I did Mike Trout. So check out my channel for those. Also, if you're brand new here, I'm going to be releasing a book later this summer on how to identify 100 of the most faked cards in the sports card hobby. So I'm about to jump on my computer and show you some of these fakes. So like all videos, I want to go over some of the prices on uh, the card I'm identifying today. So taking a look at the Gretzky here on a app called Market Movers. If you guys don't have market movers, I have a 20% off discount code in the description. If you use my link and code breakout at checkout, that's like a better version of a price guide. Shows you charts, historical data, a lot of stuff. Really, really powerful. Anyways, uh, just looking at this real quick, you can see a Wayne Gretzky 79 OPG just as an eight earlier this year was fetching about $26,000 and it's gone down to $14,000, but still for a card that was produced in 79, it's super expensive for an eight. Uh, you can change up the grades and see everything over here. So I'm going to take a look at a nine, for example. You can see also that a nine has been going up. Uh, the last sale on a nine was 140,000 and then one sold at 200,000. If you go to a seven, on the other hand, take a look at this right here. Uh, they are selling for about uh, $10,000, give or take, and now they're about 8,500. So it's a super expensive card and people fake even 50 or hundred dollar cards. And when you're talking about a card that could be 10,000 or even a hundred thousand dollars, there's a ton of fakes on the market. So uh, this is why people are faking it. This card, you can just see the prices themselves are really, really expensive. So, all right, let's take a look at the real versus fake. Okay. So I'm on my computer now and I have two different examples of the Wayne Gretzky. So first here, I have a Gretzky that is a rated a 7.5 and it's the Opeechee version. Uh, and then we have a reprint right over here, which has the yellow dot, which can fool a lot of people. So let's go over these two examples real quick and take a look. So the first thing uh, in the past, the yellow dot was one of the ways to determine the Gretzky. A lot of the fakes did not have the yellow dot and uh, you could tell right away if a card was real or not. Now, just a quick side note, the Topps rookie card of Gretzky does not have the yellow dot. So you can't tell if it is real or fake because the yellow dot, there's other ways. Um, but the Topps one isn't as mass produced uh, fake wise as the OPG. So I'm only going to be going with the OPG one on this time. But first thing is that yellow dot. A lot of, if it's an OPG card and does not have the yellow dot, it is a fake right away. But as you can see with this example right here, some of the fakes do have the yellow dot. So be wary of that one. Uh, the next thing to take a look at is the black lines. So if you load these up under magnification, they should not be pixelated. So you can see these ones over here on this side and everything like that are very, very smooth. Uh, these look pixelated alone from this. Um, but when you go uh, under magnification, you can really, really tell. Uh, the same thing with the pixelation on Gretzky at the very top of the card over here, you can see right there and Edmonton Oilers. So if you load these up under a loop, and you look really, really close, they should be nice and smooth, like these black lines and this over here. If it's not, you're looking at a fake. And again, dot first, and then start taking a look at this as well, because you can tell right away if it's fake. Another thing to take a look at on these cards, and it's hard to see on a uh, video here, but it's actually to look at the roller marks. So how these were printed, all the Opeechees, or not all of them, but the majority of them, you'll see roller marks on the front of the card um, if you look closely. And you can kind of see on here how there's different colors going across it. I mean, it's pretty apparent right here. Um, but all the real examples pretty much have these fakes. They do not because it's how they are printed. 
And, and speaking of roller marks, this card does not have them. Um, but if you look on the back, there is cards that do have these roller marks. Now that won't tell you 100% if the card is real or fake because there's now people uh, making reprints with those roller marks. Um, but those roller marks were from like pretty much the second generation of Gretzky cards produced. A lot of people think it's from the first ever cards off the line. Um, but there's some research and analysis done and it was not the first generation. So uh, the roller marks does not 100% determine if a card is real or fake because there's now counterfeits with these roller marks going across the back. All right, so next thing that we need to talk about is this skate over here. So looking up the skate, which I'm gonna go back over here so you can kind of see it. You can tell the skate doesn't touch the bottom border. There's a little bit of white uh, underneath and just like that little tip, you can see the bottom right. However, if you look at this fake, the whole skate is touching the bottom and you can see that there's not a lot of white compared to over here. So Another thing you can look at really closely is that because a lot of the fakes are pretty much cropped off. Um, they're not as much white down here. Another thing with the printing and how these cards are produced is actually how they were cut. So there is a lot of controversy about the Gretzky that was graded a 10. And even I didn't think it deserved a 10 for the longest time until I realized how these cards were cut. Uh, they were cut with a barbed wire, not like normal days where they're cut and it's really smooth. So you can even see like the seven and a half, look at this edge on the side. Um, but the issue with it is this card can be perfectly mint, but when it's cut and it's at the very bottom of a sheet, um, the barbed wire is gonna cut it really weird and it's gonna have those rough edges. So when you're looking at a Gretzky Opeachy, look for these rough edges because a lot of the counterfeits don't have them. And the rough edge is a really good sign that this card is legit because this is how they were cut back then. And uh, as someone who's trying to pass off a fake uh, Gretzky is going to try to have smooth edges and something centered. So having one that's off centered or having one that has these edges over here is, is a really good sign to look out for uh, when trying to spot a real one. Next one to go down here and something you would want to load up under magnification is the um, print dots on the white ice. So you should be looking for blue print dots down here. And if you load this up and you see you're seeing red print dots, that means it is fake. Uh, blue is good. So take a look at the ice down here and it also should be bright white. A lot of the fakes aren't bright white. I know this example, it is bright white, but um, a lot of them really aren't. So that's another really easy way to tell with that. Now in the back, there's a few different things. Uh, first is the color of the cardboard. So make sure it looks like this. Some of the fakes either are like really bright white or they're darker. So make sure with that. Uh, the second thing is to look at the hair over here. Some of the fakes just have this as like a single black colored. Uh, you can tell it is different on here and you can zoom in as well. I'll zoom in over here. And you can see it stands out. So make sure the hair is a different color and uh, make sure on the back, uh, this isn't bright white. You can see it's off color with that. So that's how you can tell if an Opeachy Gretzky is real, just looking at this now, you can tell it's pretty fake really easily just on how it's printed with these lines and everything like that, the blurry image of Gretzky over here. Um, just, it's really obvious once you start looking at real things. So just a quick recap for you guys. The first thing to always check out is this yellow dot because right away you can tell if a card is real or fake. Now, again, there are reprints that do have the yellow dot. Look for the smooth printing throughout. So when Gretzky, Edmonton Oilers, the black lines all over here. Good signs that a card is real is you have the roller marks, you have the jagged edges over here. Make sure on the ice that there is blue print dots, no red, and then make sure the ice is bright white. And then on the back, make sure the stock, uh, the color wise is the same. And then the hair is a different color. You can kind of see it's kind of two tone right over here, but I do hope this helps. There's a ton of Gretzky fakes out there. Beckett says it's the second most fake card and I believe it. Obviously, the Jordan rookie has tons and tons of fakes, but I've seen a ton of Gretzkys as well, and they're floating all across the market. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Every single week, I'm making a different video for spotting fakes, and next week, I'm going to be doing uh, some of the 1933 Gaudi Ruth. So I'll catch you in that video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next.